Hey good people, it's Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya and uh, today we've got a beautiful Elk PA151 and I've paired it here with the Elk EM4 and uh, sold separately obviously but uh, today we're going to focus our energies on this there's already a listing up there for this if any of you are thinking hey uh, what's up with that Mark he doesn't seem as normal chip or self well thanks for uh, being so observant and you're right I'm a little tired today but uh, I just finished up a long day at work. I wanted to share this with you, so here we go. Bear with me. Uh, we're going to start here with the microphone. Right now, we've got no echo on. But uh, if we turn the machine on, and you turn, turn, the, turn the echo on, you can hear it. Hear it, hear it, hear it. <laughs> And then we can turn off the uh, echo individually, so the echo will still be on the guitar, but not on the microphone, or on both, or on one of the other, 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 and uh, focus our energies back on the uh, on the machine here on the PA and when the echo is turned off then we've got uh, our choice between a reverb spring reverb on the unit itself or no oh, sorry I'm turning that off on the guitar uh, mic reverb mic reverb check no reverb Check, check. So uh, with an echo machine, the effect is the echo. Without an echo machine, the effect is the reverb. And, and there's independent controls for the volume of the effect, so you can have a little or a lot depending on uh, your preference. So uh, let's take a look at it here. Uh, all the channels are working on it fine. All the, the modes work with the exception of channel 3. And uh, I'll show you this here. Channel 3 is working, however... Uh, the base uh, base control just rotates around and around, and it must the pot is bad apparently, but it must be set at the lowest level because it's awful trebly. Uh, I'm sure that could be replaced, but uh, with six channels, I was able to use it with five, and I never uh, was too concerned about that channel three. Uh, so I just tend to use the other channels. So uh, again, here's uh, channel two, and channel two with ec with reverb. Channel 2 without reverb, and then uh, here's uh, no bass, here's the maximum bass, here's uh, no treble and max treble, and again, all of them are working except for number 3. All right, uh, I think that's it for it. I will get you some close up pictures here, you can get a better look at it. Thanks. Okay, we're back for a close up look here. Uh, I'm into the mic. And I just realized how noisy this guitar, old uh, Liberty guitar is. So you're hearing a little bit of hum, and really it's from the guitar. So let me unplug that and you'll see the difference. So our issue is our guitar noise here. So, uh, but let's look at it again. Uh, here's our volume control. Uh, here's our, uh, from the... Uh, echo machine volume and our reverb amount of reverb we want. Here's our main volume Somebody has taken a marker and put a max on there. I don't know if they were running the speakers they had back in the day were Having some issues about that point apparently uh, Would be my guess. But anyway, here's our independent volume controls and our bass again and our treble maxed and uh, our reverb on and uh, We'll crank that reverb up check Check so you can hear those Let's turn this down. We'll turn this down. Switch it over. Check, check. Get some bass on there. Check, 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 check. Treble, check, check. Reverb off. Check, check. Reverb on. We'll do it over here. Check, check, check. Bass max, treble max. Reverb, reverb. So it's a pretty nice unit. Uh, everything works on it again, with the exception of uh, the rotating base here on channel three. 
Uh, it's just a great looking piece of vintage equipment and when paired with these old echo machines I think it uh, it's a blast to play with and it's equally fun to look at. Thanks for checking it out.